Hello and welcome. This is Coolidge, and we're starting another playthrough of Crusader Kings 2. Um, today was a new patch. Uh, not only today was a new patch, but there's also the Game of Thrones uh, mod came out that included Essos, the new update for that. But there was a new patch for Crusader Kings 2, and this new patch um, fixed some issues with event spawn troops. Um, it lowered the amount of event spawn troops, basically, because uh, it was it was trying to make up for some problems that they had when they changed how um, levies could be raised. So now we won't have thousands and thousands of, of peasants that are higher than the amount that you could possibly even get. So, um, I am going to do, uh, let's see, where is it, this guy. Okay, so, uh, we're going to play a Jewish playthrough. Um, I'm surrounded by Tengri and Zoroastian. Um, there's some Yephizites down here. Uh, but, um, well, we're, we're going to start this. We're going to go Iron Man, of course. Um, he's the only Jewish character, in th the only landed Jewish character of the game. So, uh, we are going to be Khan Manessa II of Khazaria, and we're going to start this Iron Man. Now, I've seen uh, Arumba play this a little bit, um, and so hopefully I won't make his mistakes. No, <laughs> he's, way, he's way better than me. Um, so, I need an ambition. Um, well, first let's see what we are. Uh, we are a mastermind theologian, chaste, brave, proud, and arbitrary. So, pretty awful traits, I would say. Uh, my wife at least makes up for the fact that I'm chaste with her lustful gray eminence. So her fertility is up by 30%. Well, mine is, is down by 15%. So in between us, we should we should be able to to pop up some more pop out some more airs. Okay, so um, I am the I have a titular title of uh, so it, it's uh, it's not a landed title. It's not if I got rid of it, there there's no land to to get it with. Um, it's, there's no de jure counties, in other words. Okay, so. I hold, uh, well, we can see what counties I hold. So I hold these counties. Um, this guy, he's okay with me, but he, he wants this county. This guy, he hates me. Um, I'm a foreigner and an infidel. He's a uh, elusive shadow, greedy, slothful, craven. Um, if I revoke it, he'll probably just uh, revolt. I need to choose a plot to, uh, yeah, let's see. Hmm. No. I can award him some honorary titles. I can send him a gift. Well, if I send him a gift and award him an honorary title, I might actually get him up to almost the point where I can demand his conversion. See, this guy, he, he's Jewish. This guy isn't. And I think I, I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to send him a gift. I got tons of money. Um, these are some event spawn troops. So I don't need to... Th those guys will just kick around. I can create a couple titles. That title and this kingdom. I, I don't want to create this kingdom yet. They're just going to want it. Um, 
Okay, um, so what's the plan for this playthrough? Well, um, the plan is we got to get down to Israel. We need to get to Jerusalem. The reason for that is we want to create the kingdom of Israel. We need the emirate of Jerusalem, Aslan, Galilee, and outer Judean. So it's it, it, it's this. It's right. It's right here. Looks like Israel. Um, so we need to do that. We want to rebuild the th the third temple or build the third temple. Um, and those those are those are the main goals. Everything else, I mean, getting there is the point. So up here, the kingdom of Kazaria. Um, what shall my ambition be? I want to improve stewardship. Uh, within stu stewardship, I can increase my domain size. Okay, so we can uh, improve relations with him. Uh, train some troops in the capital. Click tap taxes in the capital, I'm assuming. Wait, 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 what? This one makes more money. Six. Um, okay. So we will collect taxes over here. Um, I'm worried about people trying to kill me, and we are going to start converting. We need to paint this all light blue. Okay, so, um, right away, these guys will, they might, they probably will try to attack me. Uh, his realm size right now, he doesn't have very many. And so, with the change to event spawn troops today, um, I'm wondering if they're not going to be able to just destroy Kazaria. Um, so, we press unpause. So, we can award an honorary title. Uh... And, uh, hmm, what do you want? What do you want? I think that once you get to 35, I can demand religious conversion. As long as he's not, you know, zealous. And he's not. So I wouldn't mind him being here. Going to increase the speed a bit. Okay, so um, the Magyars are going to end up, they're at war right now, and they're going to go over here, and then after that, everything um, east, or yeah, everything east of the Carpathians, um, so from here over, will become independent and they'll create Hungary by gobbling up some of this. Some amount of that. And then, yeah, Abbasid's growing. Umiyad's growing. Um, when that happens, what I'm going to want is to declare war on, on them. Right now, I don't want to declare war on him. He has uh, 10,000 troops. Which I think is a lot less than he normally was starting out with, so um, that's good. It, when they had so many event spawn troops at the beginning, it was just terrible. All right, we're gonna celebrate some Passover. Th Why? My my rabbi? on, Rabbi. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so we're going to celebrate some Passover. The senior cedar dinner has begun, as is traditional on the first night of the Passover. Matzo flatbread is consumed in liberal amounts, together with bitter er bitter mar maro herbs. Everyone is required to drink four cups of wine, each at a specific point during the cedar, as, is the, stor as the story of the exodus from Egypt is retold and discussed. Pats the matzo, please. The cedar lasts well into the night, but all good things must come to an end. Your vassals return home to celebrate the rest of Passover, but most seem to agree that your cedar dinner was well worth the, tr well worth the trip. So, all these guys like me more. Uh, I don't think that... I don't know who that is. Do I have... Oh, I do. I have three... I have three um, dukes under me. Which is fine. Yeah, this guy. And he likes me well enough. He likes me the most. Alright, so we can, you know, declare holy wars and things like that. Um... Georgia is Orthodox. I don't want to declare holy war on them because that will bring down the might of the Byzantines. Um, if I could, I could try to steal these two before any uh, Muslims came to join them. So, like these guys here, they've got 1,000 men. These guys have uh, 900 men. Uh, he died of depression. I'm sad. So, some downsides of being a Jew is I can't mar bar borrow money from the Jews. <laughs> Although I have a bunch. Um, I can't uh, go on a grand hunt. And uh, while I can have a feast, that's it. So, it's hard to get rid of some of bad traits if I get them. How old is my son? He's seven. Oh, who is this? Oh, elusive shadow. Maybe. We'll see though. Let me just, let me just, let me just see. Actually, you know that would do really well if I was to educate the child. Oh, he's not. But I'll make him Jewish. So what I can do is to try to get him to be an elusive shadow, which I like. I like elusive shadows. I like gray eminences. And maybe I should make him a gray eminence. Um, yeah, I don't want him to be a mastermind theologian. So if I make him a elusive shadow, that increases intrigue. And uh, I like I like doing that. And if I give it to him, I'll increase my opinion by 20. And then this other... Um, this other random guy who I don't care about... Then gets a decrease of opinion. So this guy loves me, right? And so now... He needs to become a Jew. So he's Jewish. He has sympathy for Christendom. Um, but that, that that's it. So basically he doesn't dislike Christians. He, he's, he's fine with them. Um, Christians might dislike him because he's a Jew. Like his vassals... Uh, His vassal here, yeah, thinks he's an infidel. This guy right here. Oh, he's a Tengri? I don't know why he's got those types of vassals. Um, that's Kimania up there. How many troops do you got? Oops. Kimania. 
Yeah, see, he's got 6,000. Now, I can, I can raise a lot more than this 2,000 that I have. I can raise another fourth. Another almost 5,000. So what I could do is just uh, go to war with these guys. Try to take this. If I declare a holy war, um, that's 3% Jewish moral authority for 20 years. Okay, so this guy. Oh, he doesn't like that my heir is educated with a foreign culture. Well, that's true. That's a bad thing. However, that guy's Jewish now, so maybe I could just take him away. <laughs> um, even though he'll he'll hate me for it, but not a, not as badly as he did before, actually, because now he's Jewish. Um, So, uh, these guys are both landed. This guy's got 14, this guy's got 15. If I fire him from the council, council he won't like it, so... Give him a chance. Give him a chance, man. Um... Yeah. I, I do want to make sure that my son is uh, Kazari. But we'll see. Okay, so um, let's check out these diplomatic relations. That's not the button at all. Alright, so they're at war right there. Trying to see who's at war here. All right. So I converted my first. Uh, converted my first one. Oh, this is a holy site. Oh well, it's a Tengri holy site. <laughs> um. Okay, so. We can start converting the next one. So we just need to slowly make this all Jewish. Um, so this guy is attacking in the subjugation of Bolchar here. So he's attacking for this area. Um, which is fine by me. Just stay away from me. Yes, he's got a lot of this men now. Um, well, I could declare war on this guy, or on, uh, this guy, and that would give me two new counties. Let's see if I can see the Jour duchies. This is a pretty big duchy, actually. There's not many holdings in it, though. This is duchies, right? Yeah. Melania, this one's nice. Um, this one's got a lot better. Like I've, I've, I've no tech. If I was to take one of these, I think I would move my capital because uh, this one's got a lot better advances with tech. All right. So what are you doing? Um, I think I'm going to declare war, and in the next episode, we will start our glorious conquest. Alright, thanks for watching.